please put your hands together for Jackie Kitchener. Jackie, who tells me that she was the UK Junior Handler of the Year in 1971, it just doesn't seem possible. She must have started when she was very, very young. She is renowned for her Vishandi miniature poodles. She has made up 28 champions and has won nearly 200 cc's. She judges 11 breeds within the utility group. This is her first time judging at one of her favourite shows, and she's delighted to be here. So a very warm Windsor welcome to Jackie Kitchener. And the first of the best of breed winners in this fabulous utility group is the Akita, followed by the Bulldog, and the Dalmatian, the Eurasia, the French Bulldog, followed by the German Spitz Klein, the German Spitz Middle, the Japanese Spitz, followed by the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Keizu, the Kaikahunja, the Lhasa Atso. Now it's the miniature Schnauzer, the miniature Poodle, the standard Poodle, and the toy Poodle. In comes the Skipper key and the Schnauzer, the Zarpe, the Chitsu, the Tibetan Spaniel, and the Tibetan Terrier. From yeah, any variety, not separately classified competition, the Japanese Akita Inu. So, almost a full compliment for this first of the groups, just the Boston Terrier missing from this lineup of now 23 breeds. So, as our judge, Jackie Kitchener, sees these dog come into place, she's going to have an initial look. And if we could ask the miniature poodle to carry on round. Ladies and gentlemen, don't stand your dogs. Please follow on round. From the tall Akita to the small Tibetan Spaniel. The heavyset Bulldog to the very athletic Dalmatian. Variety is very definitely the spice of life in the utility group. We had an entry of 1167 dogs in this group today. So the first of the breeds for individual examination is the Akita, sent through to us by David Roberts. This was his first time judging Akitas and he selected this male, number 976. This is the tallest breed in the group. The Akita is one of the most popular breeds in its native Japanese homeland. The breed goes back over 300 years, used for hunting a variety of game. It's also an extremely efficient guard dog. So the first of the dogs in the group, it's the Akita, number 976. Was the judge of the Bulldogs today. This is a bitch number 1154, sent through to represent the breed. The zenith of the popularity of the Bulldog in history was just before the Great War, when entries at the Incorporated Bulldog Club and the London Bulldog Society topped more than 400. So this is the best of breed winning Bulldog, and this is a bitch, it's number 1154. <laughs> the best of breed winning Bulldog.
Dalmatians today were judged by Nina Fleming. Nina chose another bitch, and this is number one, two, four, two. One, two, four, two. Another breed that dates back over 300 years, although the origin is a little uncertain. One thought of origin that I read recently is that the upper classes who visited Dalmatia on the grand tours of bygone days brought them back to England. The best of breed winning Dalmatian, one, two, four, two. Lisa Bobrovsky is the judge of Eurasia's today. This is another bitch chosen to represent the breed in the group, and this is number 1261. That's 1261, the bitch. This is a Spitz type breed originating from Germany, first seen in the 60s. Breeders tried to capture the best of the Chow and Wolf Spitz, with the first dogs being named Wolf Chow. Some 12 years on, introducing the Samoyed into the mix, we find the newly named Eurasia, recognized by the FCI in 1971, and relatively recently off the import register, joining the utility group a couple of years ago. This is the Eurasia 1261. So the first of the dogs on the table now for Jackie to have a closer look at is the French Bulldog judged by Mark James. This is a male this time, 1372. And despite its name, it's believed that the Frenchie, as he's often referred to, is actually partly British. During the 19th century, lace makers from the Midlands were known to have taken small bulldogs with them when they went to work in France. The breed was reintroduced to the UK and shown around the turn of the century, with the first Bulldog, French Bulldog Club being formed in 1902. Kennel Club recognised them three years later in 1905. 1372, the best of breed winning French Bulldog. On the table now we see the German Spitz Klein, judged by Lisa Moyer. Lisa selected another male, 1401. German Spitz is thought to have descended from the Nordic breeds, the Samoyed and the Lappand, which were most likely brought over to Germany with the Vikings fact which confirms their ancient history indeed. Jill and Spitz have a double coat consisting of a soft undercoat and a longer harsh rough textured and straight top coat. The selection of Lisa Moyer, this is 1401. Mark James has had a busy day today. He also judged the German Spitz Mittel. He selected the bitch, number 1403, that Jackie's having a closer look at now. The larger version of the climb that we've just seen. 
line translates to small, here the middle translates to middle, which you may see again from Germany. The watchful demeanor of these intelligent, alert, and active dogs initially led to their being highly valued on farms, particularly good as watchdogs. On 403, the German Spitz middle. Table now we see the Japanese Spitz, another breed judged today by Lisa Moyer. This is a male, number 1488. Distinctive in its standoff, brilliant white coat. This contrasts with its black pads and nails, the black nose and very dark eyes. This breed was developed in the 20s and 30s in Japan, seen in Sweden in the 50s. From there, came across to the UK in the 1970s. Active, loyal, bright, courageous, affectionate, devoted. Great companions. The best of breed winning Japanese Spitz won four double eight. Japanese she news today, we judged by Sheila Jaitman. Sheila selected the male 1460 as her best of breed winner. Similar in appearance to the Akita that we saw at the beginning of this group, but this breed is obviously much smaller in stature. It's an agile dog, coats very well with mountainous terrain in its native Japan. The Shiba Inu was originally used for hunting small game, such as birds and rabbits. Another intelligent and alert personality in this interesting and diverse utility group. One four six zero, the Japanese Shiba Inu. Kazans today were judged by Richard Glazeby. It was the bitch number 1515 chosen as the best of breed winner. That's 1515, the Kazan. The breed, by its Dutch name, originates in Holland, was introduced as a barge dog into England around 1900. Same year, it was registered by the Kennel Club. Specialist Breed Club was formed in 1925, and in 1926 the name was changed to Kaysen. Good guard dog, good watchdog, the Barges of Holland, another Spitz type breed. 1515, one the best of breed winning Kaysen. Jenny Fairhall was the judge of the Koikonundja. Jenny selected this male, number 1530, as best of breed winner. Another newcomer to the utility group, transferring from the Gundog group a couple of years ago. Developed in the Netherlands in the 16th century, 
these clean little dogs were used to lure and drive ducks into the coyen, or cages. The traps at the ends, where the hunter, the so-called quicker, could easily catch the fowl, hence their name. One five three zero, the best of breed winning quicker hunt. Joe House was the judge of Laza Apsos today. Joe selected the bitch, number 1588. That's 1588, the best of breed winning Laza Apso. This breed made their first exhibition appearance at the Ladies' Kennel Association, the LKA, way back in 1929 became a popular show dog with a breed club being established four years later in 1933. Meaning of Apso puzzles many people, but it's simply a corruption of the Tibetan word Rapso, meaning goat-like. The long hair of the Lhasa gives it an appearance of the small Tibetan goat. That's 1588, the Lhasa Apso. Next on the table is the miniature schnauzer. Martin Phillips was our judge, selected this bitch, number 1645. This is a breed from Germany, as the name suggests, developed at the end of the 19th century, when it was first seen in the show ring in 1899. Originally bred to be farm dogs. The eyebrows and the beard of the miniature schnauzer are unmistakable. Their handy size and their super temperament make them a very popular part of many families across the world. <laughs> the best of breed winning miniature schnauzer 1645. Andreas Schemmel was the judge of the miniature poodles, the first of the three varieties of poodles, and he selected this bitch, number 1674. The poodle coat doesn't shed, but regular grooming is essential for the fashion concerts, and they can be clipped in various different styles. Many people associate poodles with France and the characteristic French poodle trim. But in actual fact, it's Germany that's the origin of the poodle. The breed was carried by troops into France, Spain, the UK and the Netherlands. This is the best of breed winning miniature poodle sent to us by Andreas Schemmel. This is 1674. and she selected another bitch, this is 1722. That's 1722, the standard poodle. As I said, there are three sizes of poodle. 
toy miniature and standard. As I said, this is a standard. Another black. They come in a wide range of solid colours. The English word poodle comes from the German word puddle or poodle, which translates to splash in the water. And poodles do have a history as a water and retrieving dog and a door getting wet. They've even been known to search and find that highly prized gourmet delicacy, the truffle. Nicola Garbutt's selection of the standard poodle number 1722. Peter Banks was a judge of the third of the poodle varieties, the toy poodle. He selected a bitch, so we have three poodle bitches here. And this is number 1734. So the girls definitely had it today in the poodle rings. The heart of a lion inside this small but sturdy frame. The first poodle club was formed in 1886. The International Poodle Club was formed some 46 years later at the Richmond Championship Dog Show in 1932. It's number 1734, the Toy Poodle. Melanie Reed Peck was the judge of Skipper Kids. She selected 1782 as her breed representative, and this is another female. 1782. One of the smaller Spitz breeds, first arriving here in the UK in 1887. The Skipper Key Club was formed in 1890, and a Northern Club following on in 1905. The very first champion skipper he was called Champion Uncle Pick, gaining his title at the close of the 19th century, 1899. The best of breed winning skipper key, 1782. Stelzers today saw Andrea Dixon in charge of the breed and Andrea selected this male, 1802, as her best of breed winner. I see the judge is wearing 1806, I do apologise there. The exhibitor is wearing 1806. I have on my form 1802, so I'll have to clarify that for you in a moment. Sandra Schnauzer stands at 19 inches maximum at the shoulder. It's the original Schnauzer dating from 1620, from which the miniature and giant were developed in the late 19th century. <laughs> the best of breed winning Schnauzer. Now we see the Zarpe, another breed judged today by David Roberts. David selected this female number 1840 as his best of breed winner. This is another breed originating from China. They were originally used for herding cattle and guarding the home and family. 
have also proven themselves to be qualified hunters of wild game. Easily recognised by their wrinkles, Zarpe, when translated, means sand skin or shark skin. And this uniquely rough or harsh coat is a feature of the breed. Independent and sometimes reserved, extremely affectionate and very loyal. Devoted to owners and family alike. The best of breed winning Zarpe won 8 4 0. Well, Goodwin was the judge of the Shih Tzu's today. Now selected this male that we see on the table, 1930. Another breed with Chinese history. Introduced from Tibet to China in the mid 18th century where they lived in the imperial palaces. The great favourite of the Chinese royalty, and so prized that for many years the Chinese refused to sell, trade, or give any of them away. The first dogs of the breed were imported into Europe, that's England and Norway, in 1930, and were classified then by the Kennel Club as Apsos. The first European standard for the breed was written in 1935 by the Shih Tzu Club, where their name was recategorised accordingly. 1930, the best of breed winning Shih Tzu. Can we have all best of breed winners in the Terrier group, please, to the collecting rings 26 and 27. On the table now, Jim Richardson's selection in Tibetan Spaniels is this bitch, number 2017. An ancient Tibetan breed, popular in the monasteries, Tibetan Spaniels proved themselves time and time again as excellent watchdogs. Their alarm barking matched with their keen eyes and their ability to see great distances. They certainly earned their keep. It's thought that the first Tibetan breeds to arrive in the UK arrived in the early 1900s, brought by returning medical missionaries. They're highly intelligent, great personalities, and fun to live with too. The best of breed winning Tibetan Spaniel to 017. Table now we see the Tibetan Terrier, judged today by breed specialist Fiona Whitehead. Fiona selected this female number 2039 as her best of breed. She's the tallest of the Tibetan breeds, and despite the Terrier name, it's in fact a herding dog, and their sure footedness allowed them to double as a guard dog for traders as they travelled across the Himalayas. They're highly prized by the nomadic tribes there, and travelling folk saw them as mascots and luck bringers. They were never given away, as it was thought that if you would give, in, give them away, you'd be giving away your good fortune too. The best of breed winning Tibetan Terrier 2039. So, the last of the dogs in this exciting first group for Windsor 2015 
Winning through from the early variety, not separately classified classes, is the Japanese Akita Inu. This is another large breed from Japan, history of which describes the ancestors of the Akita Inu, the Matagai dogs, one of the oldest native dogs in Japan. They're efficient guard dogs, naturally protective of their home and their family. They make excellent house dogs, great family members, if they're given the correct training and correct socialization. The best of breed winning Japanese Akita Inu from the not classified classes, this is the male two, double one, three. So Jackie's going to have one last look at this utility group before she makes a short list for us. As I said earlier, 1,167 entries in this first group. That's 12% of our total entry over the four days. The bigger of the two groups today by a couple of hundred dogs. The Akita is the first shortlisted dog, and the Bulldog following on. And the German Spitz Klein, followed by the Japanese Spitz. The Japanese Shiba Inu, and the miniature Schnauzer. The Standard Poodle, and the Zalpe. Thank you very much to all the other Best of Breed winners. Well done, congratulations on making it through to this group. So as those other dogs lingering, the shortlisted dogs make their way back to the top of this Best in Show ring. Jackie, watching them make their way back, I know she's going to move them again. This is your opportunity to really show just what you think of these superb eight shortlisted dogs. So, Jackie's asking the Akita to move again. You get to see him go up and down, and then all the way around. So this is the Akita male, number 976. Sent through by David Roberts. Just for your records, if you were checking, the Schnauzer that is no longer with us in the shortlist was 1806. I do apologise for that mistake. So this is the best of breed winning Akita. One more time, please, for number 976. Rob Harris sent us the Bulldog Mitch through, number 1154. The best of breed winning Bulldog, 1154. The German Spitz Klein, 1401. The choice of Lisa Moyer. And round he goes, the best of breed winning German Spitz Klein, 1401. And Lisa Moyes had a good day, this is her second breed, also shortlisted the Japanese Spitz. Another male, 1488.
one for double eight in the Japanese spins. Sheila Jacobin sent us through the Japanese Shiba Inu. This is another male, one four six zero. The best of breed with it, Japanese Shiba Inu. The best of breed winners in the Terrier group, can you make your way to the collecting ring immediately, please? Ring 26 and 27. The miniature Schnauzer is moving now, sent through by Martin Phillips. This is a female, number 1645. The best of breed winning miniature Schnauzer. Now it's the turn of the standard poodle. Nicola Garbutt sends us the standard poodle through. This is a female, one seven double two. The best of breed winning standard poodle. And the last of this shortlist is David Roberts' selection, the Zarpe. So both his breed making it to the shortlist. This is the bitch number 1840. So it's an even split, four males, four females, in this first of Windsor's groups 2015. The best of breed winning Zarpe, 1840. So, the judge has asked for the boards to come in position. Very soon we will know the first of our group winners at Windsor 2015. One last look. And the winner of the utility group, Windsor 2015, is... The German Spitz Klein. One four zero one. Second in the utility group, runner up goes to the Zarpe for the one eight four zero. Third, the standard poodle, one seven double two. And group four, the Bulldog, one one five four. Congratulations to the other four shortlisted dogs, well done, but huge congratulations to the German Spitz Klein. Round you go, and whilst they go round, ladies and gentlemen, a huge thanks to our judge, Jackie Kitchener.